Welcome back. Today's episode, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how to create a gorgeous custom aged bronze plaster finish. Let's get started. Begin with rolling on an even layer of urban bronze by Sharon Williams. I am using the sample court paint and I'm just going to roll one even layer of this color onto my surface. This is one of my favorite plasters. It's called Luster Stone and I'm using the color Brown Suede. Luster Stone is easy to use and comes in a variety of colors. I am using a Venetian plaster trowel to apply it. When using this trowel, make sure you keep it at an angle like I'm doing here. A Venetian trowel is very important with this finish. If you just use any old trowel, you're going to get a bunch of scratch marks and that is not pretty at all. Apply a thin layer of luster stone covering all of the urban brown. I'm keeping my trowel at a slight angle and moving in a curved motion. I would definitely advise doing a sample before doing this on a wall. Samples are great practice. This is already looking beautiful and I'm not even done yet. What do you think? Everything I used in this video, the tools and the products will be listed in the description box below. I've got a good thin layer of luster stone applied on my surface and now I'm just going to leave it to dry for several hours. All dry. Lightly sand the luster stone layer and wipe the dust off with a clean dry rag. This next layer is called the luster layer. I guess that's where luster stone gets its name from. I'm going to repeat the same steps as I did before with a second layer of brown suede luster stone. This time apply a thinner layer. You can start to see how the plaster is starting to transform and really brighten up. Isn't it beautiful? What do you think? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this looks absolutely beautiful already. And I can totally stop here if I wanted to, but I'm going to let this dry and do one more layer. I want a little more movement and depth. If you were doing this on your wall, would you stop here or would you do another layer? Thank you. 
Okay, so everything's dry and ready for my final layer. I am basically just repeating the same steps as I did before, keeping the luster stone very thin. I'm using brown suede. I have not changed the colors. With each layer, I cover the entire surface very thinly. A little side note, if your trowel has too much luster stone on it, just scrape it back off into the bucket. Look at how rich and gorgeous this finish is. Luster Stone really is an easy product to use. It can be used on most paintable surfaces and comes in so many stunning colors that would go with any decor. Luster Stone also comes in a tinting base for custom colors. I have used this plaster on so many different projects. Ceilings, walls, furniture, accessories, you name it. I always do a sample first though. This finish is a showstopper. Can you envision this in a foyer or on a ceiling or an accent wall in your home? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Next week's video is going to be pretty cool and I don't think you're going to want to miss it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this episode, you might also like this one. Thank you so much for watching and to all my DIY friends, you have no idea how much I appreciate you. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video.